Thank you, That's gentlemen. amazing. <laughs> I don't have to intro the podcast. <laughs> yes. This is Game with Game UK podcast. I'm Bragg. I'm here with Jake. Hello. And Lachlan. G'day. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. <laughs> and you're Bragg. Didn't I say that? No. Did mm. you not go, I'm Bragg and I'm joined by? Play back. Check the tape. <laughs> oh no, the, the one episode I didn't want to edit. <laughs> and I've already got a call back. <laughs> Otherwise, how's that week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, hmm. Who had a better week? I'm going to say... Lachlan might have had a better week. How's your week, Lachlan? It's okay. Um, I've just been... <sighs> I've just been building, bro. Like, I've been building decks and then, like, selling cards and stuff. And, like, the problem is you can you can take most rogue decks and build it to beat meta decks, but then you're going to lose to rogue decks or tier 2 decks. Mm. You can build it to beat most tier 2 and rogue decks, but then you're going to probably, like, have a shittier matchup against meta. It, does, it doesn't make it an auto-lose as much as it often feels like it does for rogue, but... That's um, that's something I've kept in mind. Um, I streamed for like two and a half hours on Monday, or yesterday, two days ago, because we were recording this at 3am. Mm-hmm. Um, I was watching part of that. I didn't find when you were versing um, a particular deck, they started their thing, you just you just quit straight out. Like, it was even, Six Samurai! Not, yeah, <laughs> I, I, did, was like... well, I didn't want to ruin the thing, because people can go back and watch it. But yeah, you started versing Six Samurai, and he, like, he spammed his entire hand... And you're like, what is he doing? And they start doing like his old combos and shit. You're just like, I'm not prepared for this. He like, literally not even admitted defeat. You just like quit. Yeah. Out. <laughs> I was like, I haven't got time for this, bro. This, that was an hour in, and I was like, I don't want to play this for the next hour and a half because I'm fairly certain I can beat you, but I don't want to. Like, I, it's not worth my time. Look, like, I lose two ranking because I'm unranked. Like, I'm currently not ranked high because I haven't played in this season on DB. So I lost two ranking for losing, and I gained 26 for winning. So I can lose a lot of times really quickly, as long as I get one win out of every, like, ten losses. <laughs> yeah, look, you got to play the odds sometimes. So that's, sometimes that's what it is. is important. Um, so yeah, I did Yosenju OTK. I'm pretty sure... Maybe tomorrow? Or today? I'm going to just stream again, see if I can fix that up a bit. The deck was, like... It just wanted to verse Drytron and Virtual World, and all I got was, like, Eldritch. It's like, I don't want to verse a tier 2 deck. I want to verse tier 1. Oh, look at him throwing that out there. Laying that boot in. No, I'm... I highly... That, 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 what's a banish from the graveyard in a pot? I don't care. That's only a couple of the cards, and they've got the rest of the three engines that they run on top of that. Hmm. Whatever they may be at the time. If they see them. Which, hey, if one of them's invoked, they probably won't. Yeah. I've got, um... I hope so. Um, <laughs> uh, I've got a ruling question real quick. Mm. If a card... No, oh, here we go. If it says... Let's say there was a hand trap that said, discard this card, right? As most hand traps do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your opponent can't respond to your summons, Right? Does that mean it can't respond to effects that activate on summon? Like your effects that activate on the summon? Well, that's how cards? the magical meltdown reacts. Awesome, that's all I need. To, okay. Moving on. <laughs> um, but yeah, then so I went to locals. Lachlan's going to be on custom tomorrow. No, no, no. no, no, no. There is oh, a no, Yosenji card, card that, card that does, does exactly that. that. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and now I just know that they cannot respond to it, which is pretty sick. Um, yeah, if the effect activates on summon, not... A yeah, no, of- it does activate on summon. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, but then I went to Locals tonight, my first Locals in like two weeks, because I've just been not that interested in the game. Um, still have Virtual World just sitting here, just not built. Yeah, I, I did get a little bit weirded out, because I saw you there at Locals assuming that you had Virtual World, and then I saw your side outs for the first game, and I'm like, those aren't Virtual World sides, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like, uh... Oh, look, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm in the same boat. To get on to my week in you go if... Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. done. So, I was literally one card away from having Phantom Knight 100% done. I literally just need to what post... Card? Um, a very simple card, tour guide. 
I needed one more tool tool guide. guide. And I was like, I was going to post in the group chat being like, hey, can someone bring in a tool guide tonight? I could have bought you a tool guide. 100%. There's lots of people that could have. And I was just like, eh. (laughs) And now I'm contemplating selling the deck that I've been sitting on for like a month and a half because someone in the group chat's just like, hey, I'm kind of interested in getting this. Does anyone have it? And I do. And like, as much as I want something different to invoke dogmatica which i'll be playing for like a solid four months now something similar to that like longer actually no it's been longer it's been so long Ugh, oh god jesus it's been a long time since i like deviated decks it's been a August. long time it has been a long time so <laughs> maybe leave it on the floor yeah <laughs> so yeah there's that um i haven't been on dueling book of late and it's for a really pathetic reason um my mouse is out of battery <laughs> and I really hate using the touchpad on my laptop. It drives me fuck- it drives thing- me fucking bonkers. That's literally the only thing. I've sat there bored on nights out of my fucking mind and they'd be like, I could be on dueling book. Oh fuck, my mouse is out of battery. Time no, to watch QR. <laughs> I can't make my way to, to iNet or whatever it is, ABC iView or I'm whatever I'm it is. I can't make my way there to watch QR. <laughs> The only reason I can play Among Us is because there's a touch screen. We like, haven't even fucking played Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> Not for lack of trying. <laughs> Look, it's because Jasper and Seb won't buy the fucking game. Well, Seb can't because he's Mac $8. Gang. Seb's on a Mac. So I he's don't irrelevant. Care. Jasper <laughs> has it now. He has told me that he's downloaded it. Uh, he may not have the voice, uh, like the proximity. Well, it's free. The proximity. Most things free. Yeah, yeah, it's free. It's literally just downloading it, but it's just a thing to find. We're close. We could have even done it tonight after the locals, but KFC and Pod came first. Yes. <laughs> Look, we'll probably stream that too. Since it was... I, I wanted to stream it. <laughs> I wanted to stream it so bad. You can take the Twitch off, take the YouTube. Sure, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Then we can't look at chat, or else... Yeah, don't worry. I'm not yeah, only all, except, except, yeah, except the one person will tell the other one. Yeah. We'll go look at chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's I don't care who imposter is. You know, it's like, oh, if I find the imposter, I'm like, yeah, I'll just leave it for a few. Remember when you were like, hey, Jake, I'm the imposter. I'm not going to kill you because you've been killed the first round on every game. And then you are like, Bragg is the imposter. No, 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 no. Okay, so that was not what happened. What happened was he was the imposter. I was not directly aware of it until I saw him vent in the corner of my yeah. screen while I was doing swipe card. So he didn't tell me I'm imposter, but I won't kill you. That's he had that in his mind that he's no, imposter. No, I vented. I, ven- I vented in. I vented out, and I stood next to him while doing nothing, and then let him run past me to the button. <laughs> Oh no, after you. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was look, betrayed. I, I was betrayed. Look, <laughs> I needed that win. I, I'd been killed first in every other round by Seb and Jasper, because they always fucking kill me first. Yeah. You heard me, Jasper, you bitch. <laughs> yes, Jasper listened to podcasts. He does. He used to. He used to. I don't know if he still does. Well, if you're listening, He's Jasper, on to some you. other Yu Gi Oh podcast now. He's. On that old Moki Moki thing. Um, actually, yeah, this is probably a good time to address it. Uh, we're probably back doing this weekly now. We're getting a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh news. Yeah. Um, holidays are over. If this podcast goes well, we might just not upload the last one and just put this one up. I mean, well, you definitely got the audio version of the last one. Yeah. And that one's been up for a few days. Yeah. Which? It, there, there wasn't much going on in that last podcast anyway. Yeah, we're back into the swing of things now. It was now. just We've a got sort a good of rhythm. chuck and shit at each other for 20 minutes and then Brad comes in and he made it an actual podcast. <laughs> Because I'm not good at running this. No. I'm just not a natural podcaster. No, it was more of like just finding the time to edit stuff you last week it. was so hard. <laughs> uh, and then I've picked up a wrestling podcast as well, which is also a shit fight to edit. What do you do? What do you do? That's shit why I've like moved... the 2005 Royal Rumble? Ooh, kill him. Like, uh, kill him like Chris... Ooh. <laughs> oh no no no! Um, and then for my week in New Year, yeah, how was yeah, your week in New Year? I happen? went through uh, my Primal Origin box and found some Dawn Knights. Ah, big stonks. That is all. <laughs> but what was great about that? Like, so like I when the lances for Dragon Link, 
Mm-hmm. I'd gone through them and I must have just put them all in the one box. And so like, I went through and found two Dawn Knights. I went, oh, there's going to be no more rares in this. Like, there's no, going to be no more in this. But I went, oh, look for other stuff in here. And then there were just two more. I mean, it's, it's good money. They're going for like six or seven bucks each. So. Yeah. And like, sell like you sold those Buster Whelps. So like I have to sell those Eldlands and I can't find where I left my Secret Slayer spares. Mm. I'm, getting a bit cons- I'm getting a bit concerned. Looking back on it, I threw out so many of that because I was like, it's just a shitty suit that no one's ever going to want it next minute. But it was short printed. That was, that's, it was always worth five bucks. I sold it two conks and two Eldlixes for $70. Yeah, that was good. One cur- that's the worst Eldlich core I've ever seen literally none of those cards can do anything because all of them need lord <laughs> but yeah. but then they just get the cheap golden lord that's the thing it just there's more people playing golden lord now so they need the cards to search it yeah the vendors essentially went oh golden lord no expensive anymore I'm not even I'm not we even need to sure make this one I don't think now. it's a, a totally vendor thing I do think it's just an influx of people who I, like trying to play the deck and that card short printed. There is that, but I partially agree with Lachlan as well. Like they, you yeah, can, the you can see that, that there's more people. Yeah, and you can see when they manipulate prices. Like the Dragon Maids were a prime example because it was Maids at so first. Because what was the first card that went up? It was Chamber that went up first. Mm. Chamber's the first one that was expensive. Then Chamber got a reprint. So Homecoming, the spell, yeah, got expensive. But isn't that just how economics works? Is that if something is in demand, it goes up because no one's going to relist it at, a, at the same price if it keeps selling out when you're running out of stock? Yeah, but all I'm saying is I don't think there's an actual stock rarity. I think well, it's I think it's like a well, there would it's be. the whole thing. It's like the we want to not have stock because then we can charge more. Like that's that's why they're not opening cases when you can. You open any amount of cases and make profit at the moment. Because there's only one per if box. If you're a vendor. Like... Yeah, that's what I mean. But like, so there's not that many out there. And if there's like... You know? Like... Yeah, I, th- I think there is some natural economics to it. But I do feel that like, part of it is artificial. Yeah, I get I don't want to build Dragon Maids. Weeb. No, I, just, I think that deck's just really on the come up. Yeah. I think it's really good. It's dragons. It has to be good. <laughs> Konami yeah, will, Chambers. Konami will never let a dragon deck die. Yeah, Chambers has gone back up in price. Chambers back up to the price that it was on release. Which is crazy. Everything, is everything else is um, down the cheap small, area now? Because of the reference? Because I'm assuming that send... I, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, that like trap's probably expensive. Oh, yeah, hospitality is probably expensive, right? Downtime, you mean? The trap? Uh, no, no, there was no. a there was a spell. It was either it's send off forty six dollars a copy. Yeah, there you go. That's um, a super, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Mystic fighters. Did I pull it? I, I might have to I... open a box of mystic oh, fighters. No, wait. Hospitality was in um... mystic fighters. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking the wrong card then. What am I thinking? Is it send off then? Send off dollar. Yeah. Well, cool. Maybe it is. Yeah, tiny maybe it is. Look, tiny. Is it... Yes. What's a tiny at? Four bucks. Well, that's okay, though. Yeah, so it must Welcome. be hospitality that we're thinking of then. Yeah, yeah. Why, though? Because weed tax. Yeah, that and Dragon's Good Woohoo forever. I'd love to build this deck. It's, very, my, it's a fun deck. My three-year-old prediction at this point <laughs> is coming true. Oh, um, and yes, we will get Ben uh, on back onto the pod to do uh, our 20... Yeah. Our, uh, yes. our YCS price... Um, price predictions. That man just works all the fucking time. I'm also... He never stops. I don't remember anything I said at this point. No, me either. I remember thinking that we might have YCS back. Yeah. Uh Haha. There was a close moment. There was a brief moment and then people in the North Shore (laughs) fucked it. Uh, Even without the North... Even without our clusters, like, there, there was a time in, like... Was it late October where it could have been possible to announce it and get it to... We had it... This close to, like, literally eradicated from the country. And, yeah, and, I mean, everyone else is planning, like, everyone else is planning events, and, like, you got sporting, like, sports coming back and everything. Like, but I just don't think Konami's interested in doing anything in any market. It, it, yeah. I feel like it's an all-or-nothing scenario for them. Like, they won't open it up in certain markets when others are still rampant with problems. 
OCG be running tournaments though? I love how they're not running any. Um, I like they're not running. There's no remote tools over here either. Yeah, that's a problem. Not running any or all, all their. I mean, I guess there must have been layoffs and stuff, but like. What they laid off one of the four people that work on Yuki. That's it, right? Mike <laughs> <laughs> um, was telling me he's friends with someone I'm not going to name, but like my dad was they were like name. super connected to one of the dudes that works in the like department for Konami, like the Yu-Gi-Oh bit mm-hmm. in the North America mm-hmm. thing. Apparently, it's like six dudes in a shed. Yeah, like they run all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, or in the North America region. It's literally six dudes in a shed, and it definitely feels like that. It and that's, that the game feels like it came out of six dudes working in a shed, and that's kind of that's really really bad. Yep, that's super bad. Yep, pretty fun, pretty epic. Uh, look, and that's thing. And so I don't know what their excuse was for not running events over here previous to this, but now there's no like there's no other events, no other no one else can take focus. Like there's you can not literally try anywhere else but here in New Zealand and you can't even muster up the effort to do that. I love it. Yeah. If only we were run by some Oceania department instead of Europe. However. I'm not sure if it's worth the like I mean, on the other on the other tokens, probably not worth the risk anyway, just in case. How about you just roll out when the biggest issue let me with, decide that <laughs> when the biggest issue with this thing is hygiene and we've only just brought in an updated hygiene policy that people need to be sort of clean to play maybe it's not good timing I don't know I swear we had that policy in like 2617 because I swear it came through and I was like if someone smells I'm calling a judge yeah but little did I know that well I did know it but I my senses smell really bad. <laughs> I just don't get how you can't, and that's it. And everyone else that was in our Airbnb as well is just, all right, we're done YCS for the day. Shower, yeah. like I just want to get right in there and just wash the filth. <laughs> Hell, if, there, if there was time between rounds, like by round five, I'd want to fucking shower. Fuck, I love showers. I love a good shower. Oh, I love them, but like. I take long showers. You do. I take, I really take long, long showers. ass showers. If I because don't have like, to go to a place, like if I've just gotten out of bed and I'm like chill, I will put music on. I will like light the candle in my bathroom. It'll candle. be like we yeah, have we have we have very contrasting showers. Uh, I, I sometimes take a beer into the shower. Yeah, it's a pretty good. You have a shower beer? I don't drink beer. Shower, shower sure. anything. Shower it's fat to God. Shower, shower alcohol, good. Sh- shower wine would be good. Shower water's good. Shower, bro, sometimes a you take a bottle of water. water shower. In a, bro, it's so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not even joking. I don't this like to stretch my drinks out though. I'm very much a go hard, go home person. So like... And what better place? <laughs> when you start crying, it won't. Because <laughs> that's just me. Um... No, but yeah, shower beer. What are we talking about? Um, <laughs> um, and I just hope that they're working on a, a online client. There's anything. Well, they've, they've. I didn't dream this, right? Because everyone keeps saying like, "Oh, I hope they are," but they did announce that they are doing it, right? Like, they literally for our territory. These well, six guys in the shed are. Well, like no, a remote I, dual I'm, event. No, 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 like they're they're making a game under the current master. Oh, role. okay. Yeah, yeah. So earlier in the year, there was a product um, hinted at that was called like, I can't remember exactly what it was called. Master but they, Duel or something. Yeah, ma- it was like Master Duel, but they had no information on what the product actually was. Everyone assumed it was a dueling book-like product. I swear we got more confirmation towards that though. I hadn't heard anything personally. But realistically with everything that's gone on like i remember saying this at the start this that this whole thing would have been a wake-up call to them that they needed to have a digital platform available for people to actually play yeah just giving it like like there needs to be something because the game i I I can't so much money in that game just let me go through like we said i think we've said this exact thing on the pod before hearthstone's ranking system or even fucking Duel Links ranking system Duel Links ranking system is sick give me that let me put put a code in every pack just let me fucking go 
Do Dusk Conversion as well. The Hearthstone, yeah. Hearthstone card acquisition's really good. And it's just like, oh, okay, I'll burn that much money or I'll buy that many codes if I know at the end of the day I can just funnel it all into a card. God, I hope so. Well, what do you do? Anyway, so that's uh, Remote Jewels, Woohoo, Bitching, Podcast, Live Forever, yay. <laughs> On to the news. Ooh, 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 you do be saying that real ankly. Ankly. Not like a foot. Ah, yes. Like anchor, not ankle. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I see. What, I see what you're going with that. You know the chicks. The, the thing about chicks that wear anklets. They don't exist anymore. It's not the nineties. Well, I thought the same thing about chokers. Uh, chokers. I don't believe it. Yeah. I won't be having it. Is any Yu-Gi-Oh cards kind of that wear chokers? Don't all the Dragon Men's wear chokers? I think a couple of them do. I think. They I think... Wear chokers. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Talk about the news. Talk about the news. Uh, blazing, uh, so, Blazing <laughs> Vortex <laughs> is due very soon. <laughs> due very soon. And uh, we have the one of the Starlet Rares, which will be the import, not the import, the reprint. The fifth one. Yeah, yeah. the reprint. Uh, Trishula. Oh my god, Effect Veiler. Oh. Effect do beware. I mean, how else is he going to do it? That's It's, it's a cheat. <laughs> A Vec failure twig? Well, no! Oh. We've definitely used that as clickbait before. A Vec failure. Being a twink. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anywho. So, the fifth Starlight is... Trish. Yula. The Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Starlight Rare. Woohoo. Uh, yeah. As if Trish needed another rarity bump. This is... <laughs> This is one way to promote a structure deck that no one's going to buy, I guess. Make a starlight. <laughs> Who is the person that's like, Woo! Yeah, baby! Trish in starlight. Like, if I pull it, well, I'm I mean, keen. If not, I don't give a fuck. In that voice, there's only one person who's going to do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Moving right along. QGC or whatever. <laughs> I can't fucking remember the dude's name. One nonce. Ooh, beef. Starting beef with a fellow Yugi tuber. Nah, I could. I mean, oh, speaking there. of that, um, th- this podcast should probably go up before every before mine and Ben's videos go up. But uh, we've done a few tier lists that you'll definitely see on the channel coming soon. Yeah. Uh, so check that out for sure. Ben, of course, being Nolan TCG, a very big and famous YouTuber. Yeah, huge. <laughs> Huge. Huge. Uh, security Force is called S-Force Huge. over here now. Cool. <laughs> is anyone thinking of playing S-Force at all? Not at all. What's S-Force? They're bad mech knights. Yeah, uh, they I've not even seen it. They're meant to oppose, like, all the side yeah, and, the, and time thieves. And flavor text for Driver specifically mentions the Security Force, and now there's an archetype for it. And basically, they, they're collar monsters, and they prevent monsters from doing things um, in their column. Kind of mm. like Mech Knights with the traps, but without the traps. Mm. They're That's bad. pretty cool. Uh, we also get a few rarities of uh, non archetype cards confirmed. Uh, so, Pot of Prosperity is the new pot card. It's going to be a secret rare. <gasps> Shock. Um, the choking. That Link 5. Link 5? Yeah, that Link 5 crazy card. That, oh, uh, the use opponent's monster. Yeah, the off turn the off-turn Link the monster. The chick wears a choker. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> ah, she's a secret. Apparently they haven't confirmed whether she's actually going to have the same interaction with IP in the TCG. Oh uh, yeah, well, I, guess, I guess it, I mean, it needs a whole different mm-hmm. ruling. What is it? So in the OCG, this Link 5, it can use opponent's monsters as Link material. In the OCG, yeah. it's ruled that you can use IP to use your opponent's monster. Yeah. They haven't ruled that in the TCG yet. I think they will. Surely logic will prevail. I mean, it's we rule damage step based off OCG. Because there's no damage step rules in the TCG. Well, there, there is. It? Well, yeah, it just does. It says you can activate two things. Well, mm-hmm. one thing, sorry. Mm. Things that change attack. Mm. That's all you can activate in the damage step according to everywhere in the TCG rulebook. And also just anywhere yeah. in, in TCG. Yeah. Nothing has ever been said that you can't. That, that you can act, negate activations. I think there's counter traps as well. Sorry, yeah, it was counter traps. Yep, yeah, those are the two things. 
you cannot negate activations in the damage step except with a counter trap and changes attack and defense or change attack and defense yeah that negate activation of a card doesn't exist can't find it doesn't exist it exists you can find it, it exists gonna... it existed at one point it it, it doesn't and it you, doesn't now no it doesn't I'm, I'm... it's unfindable unfindable but if you find it, let us know in the comments below or on she our Discord. In the judges lounge, and they were like, "No, it exists. Just trust us. <laughs> <laughs> we the judge. Yeah, well, I'm the still- giant judge that makes all of the rulings." <laughs> Probably still better apply than you would get from adjudication, conflagration. Those what did you just say? What did that you call me? That was a lot of <laughs> <laughs> pretentious twats. Otherwise, uh, then heavenly Zephyr. Yeah. Zephyr? That's pretty cool. I like Zephyrs. No, no. Zephyr. Um, I didn't oh. think they were going to do the Angel Statue um, as one of the free agent cards, but they did, and it looks like a common. So, ew. And then into two TCG exclusive cards. Sorry, World Premiere. Psychic Eraser Laser. Normal spell. That's such a cool name. Psychic Eraser Laser. Yeah, 100% what a is name. different to the cards like we it. give. Send one monster your opponent. <laughs> so I continue, bro. Send one monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck to the graveyard. Then your opponent gains life points equal to the original attack and defense of that monster, whichever is higher. You're going to activate one er- Psychic Eraser once per turn. Psychic like Eraser. Um, okay, so it's just a, a. It's ding with life point gain. It's a, a bigger soul taker. No, no, no. It's like I'm um, sharing the pain. Well, this says send, not better. tribute. Um, also, the then, uh, the then you can, if uh, then your opponent, sorry, uh, gains. I'm pretty sure if this works like Soul Taker, it makes some cards miss timing. Oh, it makes all the miss timing. Oh, yeah, we'll bring in Psychic Eraser later. Yeah, that's the only card that's loose. <laughs> oh, yeah, in the 2015 format. Uh, then Underdog It'd be 2025 by the time This card's so good It's a secret rare Continuous trap like card During your Oh secret rare Jesus uh, During your turn Negate the effects Of all face up monsters Your opponent controls During your opponent's turn Negate the effects Of all face up monsters You control Me <laughs> Really good Really good Lots of good cards That can abuse this uh, Lots of good decks That can abuse this Um Mm. Like a, a lot of back row decks get some significant help through this. So if you were to whack this in like El, like Eldritch instead, like so an, an OCG Eldritch list instead of Skill Drain, do you think this performs on par with it? Not on par, but I think it fills close. the gap. Yeah, I guess they can still activate effects in their turn, so they can probably find a reply to pop it with like a Phoenix or some bullshit. Yeah, it basically just means on your turn you'll get to play. Yeah, which that is isn't cool. that we all isn't that we what we truly want in the world? Not really. That's what my I want every opponent. I I play Yu Gi Oh to win. I want every one of my opponents to just scoop. <laughs> That's the perfect <laughs> tournament for me. I win the whole tournament without playing a single card. I can probably put this in prank kids because if you do the off the off turn stuff in prank kids, it tributes itself. True, yeah. but there's but no, the whole... does it negate it? or does it stop the bow out, yeah. activation? Negate the effects of all face up monsters. Okay. It's monsters. literally skill drain, yeah. but one sided. Yeah. But it switches sides. Uh-huh. And that is Until all. So your opponent plays a copy and then um, it's just skill drain. <laughs> I, I, that is all for Blazing Vortex so far. Um, however, in the Lightning Overdrive announcement, uh, Konami hinted, or dropped the fact. It's going to be a. A war premier archetype called War Rocks. I was debating this with someone today whether they'd end up being like musicians, as in like warriors or spellcasters, or whether they'd actually be a rock archetype. Why not both? But the war has to come in somewhere. Yeah, warrior. Warrior. <laughs> Can't spell warrior without war. That's a good point. It's a good point. Kind of but like rear. guns and stuff. I guess warriors <laughs> all do warring stuff, I guess. Well, just going back to my thingy. Um, 
Is it going to be mutants again? Yes. Are we going to get any mutant cards in this set? No. Hopefully. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah, see, there we go. 19th of January is meant to be the War Rocks. Yeah, but you're going off Australian date, not American. Yeah, and it's currently... It's been the 19th in Europe for many hours now. Yeah, but we usually get those announcements at 3 o'clock in our morning, so we're probably only a couple of minutes away. Yeah. Let's look War Rock into YouTube. Let's, Let's see if anything's come up yet. That'd be typical of us that we <sighs> just finish a podcast and then like literally just after they announce all the stuff that we would have talked about. Yeah. Alright, let's take in War Rocks as we have a one last gaze where there's no Yu-Gi-Oh references. It's all Counter-Strike maps. And some <laughs> I was going to say, it looked like replays from the Iraq War, what you were scrolling through. And, um... And some chick playing a piano. And War on the Rocks, a platform for analysis, commentary, debate, multimedia content on foreign policy and national security issues. Oh for a realist lens. They probably felt so happy with that title. War this... on the Rocks. War on the Rocks. Oh. Hmm. I'm not going to talk about this website. Cool. Don't go there. Uh, then uh, another thing in Lightning Overdrive is there's going to be more Fallen of Albaz support. Oh, Woo! Such a cool I'm game. so keen for it. It's actually kind of good. Like, I, I can't remember if they got one or two new fusions. There's definitely one, and it just needs a I light type. Right? I think there's two. Oh, yeah. A light type and a dragon? Was it? Um, it needs Albaz and a light. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I had, I think I had the um, fusion up before, but then I accidentally closed the tab. In classic me fashion. Uh, Dark Honest got announced. So keen for Dark Honest. We've been waiting so long. Oh, who cares? Yeah, look. This look, is, this is need, 10 years I don't late. need it. I just want it. Cool. Now give us... Uh, if you say Dynamis, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Huh? <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about fucking Dynamis. I was going to lose my... Well, shit. yeah. Always. But... <laughs> give us Light Allure. Give us Allure for every archetype. Actually, just give us draw eight for Dynamis. <laughs> <laughs> the stance you took when you said that was phenomenal. Yeah, it was. I'm ready to back up my thing. <laughs> Is that no? Was it actually no? Fall now? That one's just the dragon and spellcaster. Yeah, that's what I that thought. When you that said, card sucks. No, that's yeah. not an Albaz card. Yeah, yeah, that's what when you were saying. I'm like going, oh, I just no, no, I definitely the Albaz seen... card. There is an Albaz fusion. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I was. Do we already talk about it? It came out a while ago. Oh, okay. We recently. definitely talked about it then. Well, I totally... I, I thought that was in Blazing Vortex. My bad. Otherwise... Yeah, Fallen of Albaz is this, a dragon. It is. So, yeah. It is essentially Fallen of Albaz support. Yeah. Oh, so the fusion you're about to talk about, that can be used when you're versing Invoked and you're still there, Alistair, with your Albaz, and you make that. But it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Do we even want to talk about it? I mean, skim over it. It has yeah, like sure. a banish effect and it loses attack for every card that's banished, so it's yeah. fucking retarded. Draw Crown of Mysterion is the current name. Level 8, 3,000 attack, 1,500 defense. The fusion materials are a spellcaster monster and one dragon monster. Uh, second effect can be used once per turn. It cannot be used as a fusion material. Loses 100 attack for each of your banished cards. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Wait, did, you, did you say it can't be used as a fusion material? Yeah. Ooh, non super poly target. I like it. If a monster is special summoned by its own monster effect, or the activated effect of a monster with the same original type, you can target one of those special summon monsters, banish it, and all monsters on the field with the same original type. Hmm. Oh yeah, cool man. It's... Hey, that's pretty epic, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and in the set that we get Light on us, we get uh, Lila... Light, light on us. <laughs> Dark on us. I think honest. we already had that, babe. Uh, we get Lina... Lina... The light charmer, shining. So keen, <laughs> so keen. Pretty much. I, I would love to do what Tom did and just have a starlight of everything, like all those charmers. They're so. It's nice. a lot of money that he's sitting on for a deck that does nothing. Deck's not bad. It's just not great. It's just too reactive in a very loose format. <laughs> yeah, that, that suits it. That's a sentence. Uh, they had some other support as well. Uh, we get a book of moon. Retrain, it's Twin Twister Book of Moon. Yeah, the one thing I did see highlighted about that is that you have to flip two. It's not like Twin Twister where you can just decide. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. One. You have to hit both. Well, this is based on a translation, right? 
Like, we don't actually know that the card is that? I or? suppose, but, like, that's all we can go off at the moment. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm just saying, like, there is a chance that they, in... Um, Wouldn't be the first time they fucked up a translation. Well, that... Yeah, pretty much. Um, but it's get... not as good as people think it is. Oh, no, definitely not. Book of Eclipse is better. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Book of Eclipse is everything. People are like, you can nerf it, and then you do it, and it's like... Just shut, win the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> then we also get a, a new pendulum monster that's in the same. I, I keep forgetting that that vanilla one's name that was in the original set. Uh, sea of Draconis. No. Lanfringus. A uh, general. Dra- Draconid general. Yeah, that's close. Yeah, look, it's in that. It's in that vein. Oh, uh, it, it's Dra- Dra- dragoon of Draconis. Yes. Otherwise, it is a pendulum machine monster, level four. Dracoon of Draconia. There we go. Secrets of Eternity. Oh no, I'm not thinking of that one. Oh. <laughs> what are you thinking about? There we go. Normal pendulum. Sea dragoons of Draconia. It's not bright no. now. You're thinking of. No. That's cross souls. When did pendulums come out? Are you sure it's not Lefer? Because you're thinking about the big dragon thingy. Not big. He is. He's small. Ghost Beef. Whatever happened to Ghost Beef support, huh? <laughs> what do you mean, whatever happened to it? It got support. I swear there's, they've got the... They the got the roast th- chicken. Yeah, they got ter- mild, mild turkey, there, wasn't it? that thing. They got mild turkey. Yeah, mild turkey. There's your go- Ghost Beef support. Damn, bro. <laughs> 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 Don't sound too excited. Fucking hell. I'll find it eventually. Maybe it is an effect monster. It started in Superstar to Space Time Showdown. There's not Volkholz coming. Oh god, it's gonna be an effect monster. I've, t- I've, oh man, I've fucked this. The first up. pendulum card in the TCG ever released was Time Gazer Magician. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it was in the starter deck. Yeah. Is that not what we're talking about? No. No, man. So no. Time Gazer and Stargazer. I'll find it. Don't you worry. If only there were an app. That I could look up every single pendulum monster on. I have seen rescue hamsters so many goddamn fucking times scrolling through <laughs> this. I'll get there. I'll get there. So it's a normal monster. Look, I'm starting to rethink that it might not be a normal monster. But we will now open Neuron. We're entering. Dragonhorn Hunter? No. Bro, how do you spell Neuron? Dragon? Yeah. Hold on, that's familiar. It's familiar so because it, I played it in Dynamist. Yeah, I it's don't, not I don't think probably. it's the one that you're thinking uh, of. I don't think it's that one. But actually, that kind of looks similar, doesn't it? To what? To the, the pendulum monster, that, the pendulum dragon monster that we are current pendulum machine monster that we are currently looking at. Wait, we're looking for a machine monster. Well, no, we're, look, look at him. Look at him. Jesus Christ! Can't believe we're look, this long. He's got a thing on his belly. Up. Hold up. Wait, hold up. Uh, there are similarities. The more I look at it, the less likely, but they're kind of similar. Dragon kind of chubby, though. It must be Dragon. It must be the one I'm thinking of. Dragon do be slimming down. Look. The Ignites? What we were all demanding was a Dragon retrain. Yes, I remember specifically asking for this. Man Dragon? Half Man? Half Other half is also man. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? He shit's on the floor. <laughs> I've never seen this card before. In my He's life. a man. What's that? Was it in a man's Dark body? Amphilian dragon with a man's brain. It's overload. I've never seen this card before. Go in my watch life. Arnie Donner's House of Fun on Netflix and tell us what you think. If you're not from Australia, go watch it. It's epic. Well, also if you're from Australia, watch it. But you probably already have. Uh, if you control no monsters, or, or, or all monsters you control are pendulum monsters, apply this effect ba- based on your pendulum zone this card is in. <laughs> Left, reduce this card's level, pendulum scale, sorry, by three. Right, increase this pendulum scale by four. So it goes to one and eight. Yeah. Gives it a nice wide scale. Kind of. Still can't pendulum summon a Dark Magician, though. Once per turn. Didn't mean Dark Magician, meant Blue Eyes. Once per turn. <laughs> during your opponent's demo phase. You can summon this card from your pendulum zone. 
Monster effect, if this card is special summoned to a zone that is not the center main monster of the zone, destroy this card. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn, during your opponent's end phase, you can turn one card in your pendulum zone, destroy it, and if you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. So he do be doing things. He just moves around. So when does he summon himself to the board? I missed that. In your opponent's standby phase. Oh. So effectively, it can come out of the pendulum zone during your turn and then put itself back in the end. Yep. I mean, during your opponent's turn and put itself back in the end. Yeah. I do kind of like that. I like it too, but I just wish they weren't pussies. <laughs> and instead of being like, oh, depending on me, just on the left, in the blue thing, write one. And on the right of the card, write eight. I thought he was going to say 12. No. Like, they 13. want it to be one and eight. Zero and eight. On Zero the and blue arrow, just write one. Also. Zero and 999. Yes, for all those level 13 and above monsters. <laughs> for every 12 above 12, you get to summon... Hey, there's some, like, Z card that's coming out that needs, like, five level 13 monsters to make. F.A. is be like <laughs> Fars. Why don't we call them Fars? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we call B.A. Bar? <laughs> Baba. Yeah, maybe I don't like that. I like bah. bah. What about UAs? Are they wah? Wah. Wahs. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Um, Abyss actors. Ah. <laughs> um, Phantom Knights, we can say... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's stupid fucking... So when I was going back, looking like... Was I looking at 2015 list, whatever, and just seeing them call it, call it PK Fire? I fucking hate that. You hated it being called PK Fire? Yeah, I fucking hated it. Why? I'm not sure if I said it at the time, but it's so dumb. Did you see that you could where you posted like a Phantom Knight, um... <laughs> you're gonna hate this. You posted Phantom Knight Plunder Patrol? Like uh-huh. the PK Water? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I definitely heard of that. Yeah, like, I'm going to draw mad now. sleeper deck at the moment, by the way. It's not great, but it did. That new card. Oh, uh, yeah, the new card. Out, yeah. Broken, busted, yeah. so good. Yeah. Very, very nice. <laughs> Super king. <laughs> That's problematic. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> Why not? Quoting Zaborat. Yes. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't missed anything else. I was um, quoting Josh, quoting Borat. So, actually, that's a good point. Planet Patrol got that card. Scraps are getting that card. What else do I get? Well, you already have the one card that you wanted for yeah, Prank Kids, which is the Link yeah. 1. Um, what you need is for all copies of Golden Gordon Lord to be banned. Yeah. Well, actually, and Eldritch, also, half Eldritch of, is... actually, all but three copies of the normal Eldritch to be banned, but yours aren't that. Yours are different. Yours are special. Would you play the deck or would you sell them? Wow. If they became like a thousand dollars a copy. I'd never sell anything. You know this. Then why get mad? <laughs> 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 oh, fuck me, bro. Bragg just keeps winning in a game he doesn't fucking play. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the prank kids link one that he dreams of. He gets the scrap card that he fucking dreams of. He gets plunder patrol support that's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> well, what do I get next? An Orcus card, maybe? I play. Shut the fuck bit. up. Well, Scrap is kind of probably half to fucking yeah. eight. <laughs> that's excessive. It's once per turn. Oh, there'll be a oh, Cosmo card. Yeah, that's it. That's all. I'll be happy with a Cosmo card. Give me Yoda. Yoda. No, give me Palpatine. Yeah, level one dark. Do both. No. If you're adding when, a light card, you have to add not, a dark card. Yeah, so give them both. That's how balancing the forks, force works. Give us the new card. Give us the Jar Jar card. Oh. <laughs> the Jar. Jar Jar of Greed. Jar Jar of Greed. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Draws half. <laughs> You need to activate three of them at one time to get one draw. Yeah. Draw one, discard Put two. them back in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Port of Generosity, but worse. 
<laughs> but searchable. Um, do we want to talk about the bears now? Or? Nah, uh, they're very cool. It's like the they're communist really main phase. Our main phase. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like the idea of them. I'm going to play that day. Yeah, so... We'll definitely Deep into Neptibus is that, that synchro. Yeah. And you can search that now, right? Neptibus. Uh, Diva is searchable, but you need a water monster in grave first. So, like, yeah. if you start doing the combos with Betix, then you'll have it. If you use... What's a water hand trap now? Oh, no, don't do that. No, <laughs> ghost dog and spooky Yeah, I was going to say, if you use spooky ghost dog and spooky <laughs> dog. <laughs> ghost Ooh, sister and spooky doggies. dog. Why is she water? Oh, I'm not going to ask that question. Um... <laughs> By you asking, no, if by you making that statement, you make it weird. I didn't make any statement. It's because she's a nun and water is holy. That's good. Yeah, let's go with that. In the what? interest of not having any cuts in this podcast, let's move on. <laughs> um, and we'll be back later in the week with a mailbag, I reckon. If we get some comments and or emails and or... Yeah, yeah. Send us some stuff. This will go up. Because there's no cuts, so this can go up pretty fast, right? Yeah, damn right. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, Here's yeah. up in the Discord. We're going to do this weekly again. We're doing it weekly. We're back on the train. We're recording. I finally want to make videos, and I'm, I'm going to stream tomorrow. In our defense, we almost have done it weekly. It's just they haven't gone up weekly. <laughs> yeah. We have recorded them weekly. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, you're getting content every week. <laughs> However, as far as you guys are aware, perhaps you are not getting content that much. <laughs> Perhaps the, and perhaps we've died. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. Bye. Bye.